Tonight on Oregon Art Beat, we'll preview the Portland Arts Festival with a feature on one of the artists selected. Jeff White's paintings explore life's spiritual journeys. It's like going to church to me. I mean, where, where I can convey my connection with my own individual, personal, religious experience. To Jeff White, painting is all about emotion, the emotion expressed through the beauty of nature. When I'm painting, it's, it's about capturing that moment. It's about capturing that experience and that the spirit and the energy in that. And it's the energy that I think I'm trying to capture because there's so many variations of, and levels of, of intensity and, and energy. But also for Jeff, painting is finding the emotion within himself. And as I invest myself in, in my painting, I'm always trying to re-experience something, maybe through a different lens, maybe a different temperament. Um, outlook or a different expression of, of that same experience. I get caught up in a lot of, as we all do, in our own emotional sensibilities. And, and one day the gorge may look this way, but if you're not quite on cue, it may look a different way. And I'm always experiencing those through my own personal dilemmas. Jeff's landscapes depict the dichotomy of the cool and warm colors of the Columbia Gorge. It may be a blazing orange-red sky over a darkened landscape, or a hillside catching the last of the day's dying light with the already dark clouds above. The temperature, I think, is it's more expressionary of, a, of an inner temperature, an inner warmth, you know, and I, and I tend to express a lot of my inner tensions or, you know, in warm colors. So I've always got this sort of juxtaposition between warms and cools. Although he always knew he wanted to be a fine art painter, Jeff studied at the Art Center in Pasadena to be a graphic artist in order to give himself as many employment options as possible. I really just sort of like opened up. I wanted to learn everything. Architecture, painting, drawing, some of the design work, some of the graphics work. I mean, I just really became a sponge and just learned as much as I could. Once back in Portland, he worked for a design firm doing illustration and concept sketches for museums and interpretive centers. This is Mary for the uh, Lincoln Museum. But this is the bread and butter stuff. Jeff had more than enough work, but he was always doing what the clients wanted him to do. He didn't feel as artistically fulfilled as he wanted. But seeing a slash burn was the key to changing his life. We were coming back from Black Butte, and I just, I realized that, you know, these really beautiful spaces that were all around are slowly disappearing. So back then I was, I started thinking, you know, I'm just going to start recording this in my own mind and on canvas what, what these places are like. And I started with the gorge. Now, Jeff creates landscapes in both oil and pastel. He'll spend days in the gorge just observing the light, then come back to his studio in the heart of Portland's industrial zone and work. He never uses photographs because his goal isn't to recreate reality. No, I do that in my commercial work, and so I try to stay away from that in my personal work. I render things, um, and I I don't mind doing that, but there's something missing every time you're being art directed to render something to make it real. A camera can do that much better than I can do it. But a camera can't capture this spiritualness that is evocative through color and through a sense of mood. One of the things that I've, I realize that the faster I move, the quicker I can capture this, the moment, rather than trying to render it. 
in getting caught up in the little details, you miss the experience of, of just the brush stroke, almost a zen-like approach where it's not completely thought out, but it's more of a, an intuitive approach to bringing the brush to the surface. And it's, so as soon as you start using your brain to think things through, you screwed up. So I'm, I'm very big on first impressions and intuition, letting it guide. Jeff believes that just as he connects to the spirituality of nature, his paintings will similarly connect with the viewer so they capture the essence of what he is trying to convey. And although he takes pride in his commercial and illustrative work, the real joy comes from tapping into what is within. It's not hard to render a photograph. It's I've done that many times. It's, um, but it is harder to stop and, and to listen inside, to hear the inner voice and let it speak. Because you really have to shut down all the, the committee, you know, stop the voices and then just allow the spirit to move. And that's what I'm trying to do in my work.